hit um, uh, Ishfahan uh, and a nuclear facility is there, but they say that they did not hit a nuclear facility or a civilian uh, population. Uh, I hope that that's true. That makes it slightly better, but uh, not at all a good idea to hit Iran. This is a disaster of epic proportions. There did, didn't did need to be an escalation here. Already Iran's strike back was uh, ineffective uh, for when Israel did its uh, consulate bombing of Iran to start this particular conflict. Biden has said we should not back Israel if they're going on the offense here. They have gone on the offense. Very likely Biden was not telling the truth, and instead what he'll do is uh, he will uh, likely uh, back Israel no matter what. They're about to give them $26 billion uh, in Congress anyway. Uh, and uh, thank you to the members that just joined. We appreciate you guys. I wanted to give you an update as soon as we could. Ishfahan has been struck. Uh, Iran has said that they're going to carry out a maximum response. Uh, the Dow is already down 500 points. Uh, in terms of what's happened now, uh, we uh, oil prices are way up, so defense contractors are thrilled, APAC is thrilled, oil companies are thrilled, all of the terrible corrupt lobbyists in America are thrilled, uh, the rest of us uh, are deeply worried and should be deeply worried, uh, so uh, they say that, um, you know, uh, that uh, they weren't going to strike. They, of course, they want the element of surprise. Iran gave us 72-hour notice before they attacked. Israel, of course, did not give them notice, pretended they were might or might not respond after the um, uh, Kippur holiday, which is at the end of uh, April. But instead, they've gone in this direction. Uh, and now, uh, you know, we have to wait to see what is Iran going to do next? Uh, are they going to strike back in a much more devastating way against Israel, in which case Israel's going to have to re-strike back. And here we go. Here we go. I'm worried about World War III. I'm worried about America getting dragged into this. Already we're sending him a $26 billion check to Israel for no reason at all. What, to kill more Palestinians? To start more wars? Netanyahu's Dick Cheney on steroids. The guy's been a neocon and has tried to get us into this Iraq war for as long as I've been covering politics. And so now, if Biden goes along with him, well, then it's Biden's war, and it'll be disastrous. So there was no need for uh, Israel to strike here, and unfortunately they have. And now we wait for Iran's response. We wait to see how bad the strike was. Uh, it looks like it might have been around an Air Force base. The U.S. has confirmed that it was Israel. Israel did do it. And I don't know if how many people have been killed uh, we're going to have to get details on the how the depth of the bombing and what a disaster the bombing is. So we'll give you all those details, as, of course, as soon as we have them, Monday through Friday, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern. You all know we do the show live at that point. Uh, we'll have every detail for you guys. Uh, members make us sustainable. You know that. Thank you to all the members I'm already seeing on here. Uh, we appreciate you guys. And so, look, guys, hope for peace. Hope that... The damage isn't that bad and that uh, Iran doesn't counter-strike. Those sound like, at this point, almost a little bit desperate hopes. Because when Israel strikes, they, they don't do what Iran did, where it's kind of like a fake strike because they want to avoid war. They usually, like this right-wing government of Israel, not every government of Israel, but this one, loves war and can't get enough of it. Benjamin Netanyahu has been arguing for war, like I said, ever since I've been covering politics. And he's been trying to drag America into it. So I know what all the propagandists are going to say. They're all going to say, oh, my God, we have to support Israel. Israel's our ally. How? How? All Israel ever does is get us into wars and conflicts. They've, gotten a one, they've turned 1.6 billion Muslims against America because of the endless occupation of Palestine. Now they've devastated Palestine. 85% of the people... Uh, are refugees now. They've destroyed the entire place. Now they're going to pick a fight with Iran, and guess who's going to have to pay for it? We are, okay? Well, I don't want to pay for it, and I know you guys don't want to pay for it, and we're sick of this. So if Joe Biden thinks it's a great idea to help Israel, his beloved, beloved Israel, uh, to, th rather than keep his promises, rather than not do what, uh, you know, the things that, uh, he said he wouldn't do. He said he wouldn't back them if they went offensive. 
So let's see what happens. Is he ever going to pull a dollar from Israel? And we all know the answer to that. It doesn't matter if you're left wing, right wing. It doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't matter if you're an Israeli apologist, propagandist, etc. It doesn't matter if you hate Israel. You all know it. 100% of the people watching this video know that America is going to hand over another giant check to Israel. That we're going to send them $26 billion no matter what they do. No matter what wars they start. No matter how terrible this idea was. No matter if they drag us into World War III. It doesn't matter. No matter what they do, because APAC is spending literally hundreds of millions of dollars bribing our politicians. It's right in front of our eyes. APAC is named for, it has Israel in the name. It says we're for Israel. We're not for America. But we give money to American politicians and they do exactly as they're ordered. And that is just a fact. You can say, well, I don't like that fact. That fact is inconvenient. That fact uh, brings out old tropes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well then don't do it. Then don't bribe American officials. And don't tell me campaign contributions aren't bribes. And don't tell me politicians aren't affected by millions of dollars stuffed in their pockets by lobbyists. And it's not just APAC, guys. The defense contractors, their stock prices are going to go up tomorrow. The oil companies, their stock prices are already going up. All the dirty, terrible lobbyists in Washington are thrilled that all these people are going to get killed in this war. They're thrilled that we're going to waste trillions of dollars of American taxpayer money because to them it's not a waste. It goes straight into their pockets. So that's what we're, what's happening right now. Why? It didn't have to happen at all. But Netanyahu has wanted this war. You want it, brother? It should be yours. I ain't got nothing to do with Israel. I don't pay taxes. Actually, I do pay taxes to Israel now. But do I get representation? Do I get to vote to make sure Netanyahu is not in office? Do I get to make sure they don't bomb Iran? Do they uh, get? Do I get to make sure that they don't imprison five and a half million Palestinians? No. So this is taxation without representation. Now they're taking our taxes, they're giving it to Israel, and not just giving it to Israel to help a flourishing democracy and a safe haven for Jews. That I could live with, okay? But instead they're giving it for endless wars that we have to fight for them and we have to finance for them. No. No, right wing says no, left wing says no, Uniparty says yes, as always. Everybody in the establishment that's taking tons of bribes from these guys, including from the defense contractors and the oil companies, they all say yes to war every single time, and they always say we got to pay for it. No, I don't have to pay for it. You don't have to pay for it. You know how hard you worked? And then they're going to come take money out of your pocket and give it to Israel to start this war. Your answers all should be hell no, hell no, ally, what ally? Ally, how? What has Israel ever done to help us? I just had a debate in Washington with Dennis Prager uh, and others. And uh, I went at, when we asked, how'd they ever help us? They said, well, they helped the military industrial complex. They helped defense contractors with military intelligence. Wow, I didn't know you were that helpful to us. You're helping defense contractors. That Those guys are not helpful to us at all. And what are they giving them with military intelligence? Oh, here are the Muslims to bomb and kill. No, that's not, that doesn't help us. That helps you. Where's the help to us? Nowhere, nowhere. So, and then, oh, by the way, she said, oh, yeah, but also the lobbyists are not so bad. No, lobbyists are disastrous. This war is disastrous. I don't want any part of it. KRTT, thank you, brother, for uh, for joining and for being uh, premium level because, we guys, guys, we need you. You see us doing honest coverage like this? Who else is doing this? We're doing this in a passionate way because we, we want to save those lives. Yes. I do the news objectively. I give you the actual facts, not BS facts like, oh, Biden thinks Israel is a beloved ally because of our Judea and Christian heritage. What? And by the way, what does Judea and Christian heritage have to do with democracy? I'm not part of the Judea and Christian heritage. I pay taxes in America. I don't know what you're talking about. And how does Judea, what does that mean? Should they, should they have Judea and Samaria? Is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about from the river to the sea? Which is what Netanyahu has said. And what happened? Congress just said, if you're a Palestinian and you say from the river to the sea, or you're an American and you say from the river to the sea on the Palestinian side, you're going to have consequences. You're an anti-Samite. You're terrible. Netanyahu says from the river to the sea and watch me do it. Watch me do this genocide from the river to the sea. And our Congress applauds. And now they're going to applaud this monstrosity, this bombing of Iran, a sovereign country. Uh, it's totally inexcusable. And then they're going to say, oh, no, the American people want you to pay for it. No, they don't. No, we don't. Let's, Allison Adams, thank you for joining. Let's all stand up together and say, enough of this crap. We don't, we don't, we don't want 
World War III. We don't want more wars. We don't want a disastrous war in the Middle East. We don't want to pay for it. We don't want to fight it. And we don't want to get taxed without getting representation. Show me my vote in Israel and show me that Israel's trying to be safe and secure and get along with their neighbors and not imprison their neighbors for 75 years. Okay, then I'm happy to help because we're progressives and we're ready to help. And this isn't anti-Israel. This isn't anti any country. It's just enough is enough when you start wars and demand that we pay for it and that our... Let's be honest, that our politicians be subservient to you because of the lobbyist money and your buddies in the defense contractor businesses and the oil companies also helping you. Diego Ariola, thank you for uh, joining. We appreciate you. Uh, Hamed Malaki, thank you for joining. You make us stronger. You let me keep saying the truth out here because none of you want this. The only people who want it are the ones being bribed by those three sets of lobbyists, defense contractors, oil companies, and APAC. And everyone watching this that doesn't live in Washington knows that's an absolute certain fact. So don't come telling us, no, APAC and Raytheon gave them money out of the goodness of their heart for charity. And it had nothing to do with bribing them to start more wars so they can make billions of dollars. I'm tired of the lies of American officials who do not represent us Americans. They represent a foreign government trying to start World War III. None of us want it. You should all be super clear. And Biden, don't come tell us that Trump is worse. Yeah, I, Trump is terrible. Am I clear enough? Trump said that he would do worse to the Palestinians. I got it. But don't come tell me you're a decent, sweet, empathetic guy and keep greenlighting Israel constantly starting more wars and conflicts and then say, I got to pay $26 billion. You guys watching this have to pay $26 billion for their insane neocon leaders that we never voted on.